guys, this is Michael with Nina. We've been fishing for a while. If this is your first video, just go back and watch the other ones and you'll know what's going on. We're trot line fishing and limb line fishing. And uh, I got, I've moved everything since the last video. We got 12 limb lines out right now. Six of them on the Ohio County side of Kentucky and the six are on the other side, which we call the Butler County side. And then at the very end, we got a trot line with 24 hooks. And I've also added one hook that we're gonna call the Cat Daddy hook. Uh, Nina named it. And it is just a hook that's 12 aught with a very large piece of bait on it. The rest of the hooks are uh, six aught with uh, medium to uh, small pieces of bait. So we're gonna cruise up the river here. And if we see anything moving, we're gonna stop at it. And uh, we'll bait up after we get done because we don't have time. We got limited light. So wish us luck. Cat Daddy hook is right here. Yeah, uh, there's a bungee cord. And nothing. I honestly thought it was just your huge hook hanging in the air. I was like, it's <laughs> <laughs> not how I you do it. I forgot how to mention, uh, I forgot to mention that we're. All of my tree lines and trout line are attached to sycamore trees, which I think are good luck. So, uh, my dad used to do that whenever we were growing up. And the other day we cut them all out and we went all up and down the river, tried to space them out for at least a mile, mile and a half. And all sycamore trees. Oh yeah, by the way, all bluegill. Every 36. There's one out there that's yeah, that was the cat daddy. Oh, that one? The cat daddy is always going to have like the extremely large piece of bait on it with a very big hook. See, this will be fun because I actually don't know where any of the hooks or lines are. Yeah, Nina wasn't able to be with me when we did all this, so it looks like there's one straight ahead, so... treacherous you see how look at the current now this water level is pretty low from what we've been doing it's still kind of high but we got us some nice a little shake a little shimmy i'm gonna shut it off all right this one right here i almost this, i almost was acting kind of stupid with it the other day i was with myself by myself with myself they don't look very big is it a bluegill <laughs> okay all right channel cat you know we haven't got skunk one time this year guys i think we're gonna fish until we do get skunk and then we're gonna fish some more yeah we'll probably fish some more if you watched last year don't don't underestimate me or overestimate me i will put a video up without a fish a splash a while yeah really Look at him just in case it's the only one he's just spinning yeah, it'd be funny if he came off while you were doing that. Almost every time that's, that happens whenever I'm uh, doing that. He's not hooked in the eye. All right. The current actually drug me down the river, and I was throwing the hook out. And the hook actually got me right in my freaking finger. Where? Right here. Oh. And so I grabbed the line, and I got the boat in reverse, and it, jer it jerks me to the middle of the boat. So I'm, it's just this moment where I got the hook in me. I don't, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a, hook, a knife out like you're supposed to, you know. Liars. So here I am pulling against the current Michael. and the boat motor. And like the heavens opened up and the boat motor died. 
Because I, I had this moment where I was about to jump out of the boat. Like, literally, it was like, okay, let the boat go down the river and jump out to save my hand or see if I can pull against my own motor. <laughs> so, yeah, it's stu stupid. Stupid is what it was. You're going to have to make a flying jump at it if you're going to do it this time. I'm gonna go check these lines, Nina. Here's a Nina piece of bait. Well, you know what they <coughs> you know what they say. One out of twelve. That's bad. Oh, we got something on here. See it moving? Okay, this is the trout line, guys. Now we. Do oh, I missed it. <laughs> Redo. Ah, this is the trout line in a second, guys. Okay, so we, I have one trout line out right now, and it is the way that I like it. It goes from this side of the river to the other side of the river, and this yes. The way I like it. And yes, you are allowed to do that in the state of Kentucky. And it's a little bit easier to record because it pulls the boat down the river. You guys remember this from last year? If you don't, go back to 2018, episode one, and then watch the 25 episodes. And then watch the 13 episodes before this. And you should be caught up. The water level is just a little bit, a little bit high, but I'm actually happy with it for right now. Because uh, we've been dealing with water levels three times this high. Is it stuck in the... Yeah, it's stuck in the oh, there's a fish on that. I'm pretty sure I saw some the line moving. Mm. And we did drive by all 12 lines. We had that one channel cat on. and Here recently, uh, the fish did stop biting it got cold today's actually the first warm day so i look for them to start up you got you a monster there it is. oh there's two of them side by side oh no all right a little blue cat like i said hook line and chill always has a blue cat Ooh. big blue cat that's a man that's a mean one out there oh i'm gonna laugh if he flies off watch out that's a big one all right all right put it down there's two of them <laughs> that right behind you. We got us a. I don't know what. It's a good size. There's another one out there. I don't know. He's, he, this one's pretty good. He's. He's a good one. Watch out. Hate for him to come off. Techn technically head first if you can. Yeah, you can come in from the other side. See how you can swim out when you do that. But that's all right. You got it. Line. All right, let me know if I need to put the camera down. Safety is safety comes over video. Not really. <laughs> Big old blue. Compared to this one, this one's probably 10 plus. He's a good eater. That one's, I mean, it's hell. We would have took that any day of the week. Last year. A month ago, and yeah, last year. Let's the eye again. Sweep it. Give it a I wouldn't let him do that too much. There you go. Doubting my skills. I like the blue cats, but I'm I'm hoping for a flathead, especially when I put all those bluegill on. All right, I can't. I can't oh God, I can't have this blue cat back here. He knocked the camera over. Back up here. Let me have all the fishes. There you go. That's what I like to see. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, keep on rolling. Ooh, this water's cold. 
Yeah, it's it's getting in the 60s. It was getting close to the mid 60s last week, and then we had a little cold front come through, so it's in the lower 60s right now. So today we we crossed 18,000 subscribers, and uh, we appreciate all you guys that watch, all my friends, and all my enemies. <laughs> Nina's the is running the point. Which sometimes also means the point of the video, in case you guys are missing it. We have a very simple recipe here at Hook, Line, and Chill. You know, outdoors, fishing, a little bit of music, boats, interesting people, and usually a girl of some type. Nina is a regular. Of some type. Well, I mean, I could say, you know, a pretty girl or attractive girl, but that doesn't, that's not necessarily what I'm going for. That's what's on the inside, Michael. You know, there's plenty of really hot girls that want to be on here, but whenever I talk to them, they they don't have the personality. And I'm like, you just don't got what it takes. Got one. You do? Let's see what we got here. I see the bubbles out there. It's always a good sign. How far out? I'm pull my feet in. Yeah, could be a could be a shark. Could be one of them, uh, yeah, bull sharks. It's right next to a brick, so I can't really tell how heavy it is. That's usually what happens. That brick helps set that hook a little bit, I think. So if he if he it feels like it's snagged. It might be. This is a new line, so it's well, snagged, and there's something on it. Uh, keep pulling. Is it like ultimately? Oh my god. Oh, there he is. Here. This one is caught there. Hold on to it. Need a little assistance on this one. There you go, channel. See that black string right there? The one that's open on the on your right side. Yeah. This one? No, no, the spool. This? as you can get to it. What do they call those mermaids in the front of the boat? You make a really good one. Yeah. I'm just trying to not show my crack like you are. Uh huh. <laughs> this fish will probably come off. They never come off for you guys, and I'm always getting on to you for letting them hang, hang out. <laughs> it happened to me the very first time I came out with you. Oh, yeah, those little ones. All right. Okay, all right guys, so don't get used to me running the point. Oh yeah, and I've named all the positions in the boat. Up front is now considered the point. Whoever's driving in the back here is the captain. 
And if we did happen to have a third person, they would be in the middle, and they would bitch. the hand, <laughs> the hand of the captain, or the point. Not a bad fish. All right, guys, we caught six fish. I'd say at least 20 pounds of fish right there. We caught one about the size of bait. This could be my next uh, snag cat daddy hook. We're gonna move that around each time. We're gonna fish at these 12 spots on the limb lines and this trout line we're gonna adjust a little bit, but it'll probably be what we fish on through the end of May. We might add one more and we'll see you next time. See ya.